The Hero's Journey, a PowerPoint presentation created by Bethany Hammond and narrated by Gwen Rossi. There are 12 stages of the hero's journey. The first stage is the ordinary world, followed by the call to adventure. The third stage, refusal of the call. Fourth stage, meeting with the mentor, followed by the fifth stage, crossing the threshold. The sixth stage, tests, allies, and enemies. The seventh stage, the approach. The eighth stage, the ordeal. The ninth, the reward. The tenth stage, the road back. The eleventh stage, the resurrection. The twelfth stage, the return with the elixir. The first stage of the hero's journey is called the ordinary world. The hero, uneasy, uncomfortable, or unaware, is introduced sympathetically so the audience can identify with this situation or dilemma. The hero is shown against a background of environment, heredity, and personal history. Some kind of polarity in the hero's life is pulling in different directions and causes stress. The second stage of the hero's journey is the call to adventure. Something shakes up the situation, either from external pressures or from something rising up from deep within, so the hero must face the beginnings of change. Stage 3, the refusal of the call. In this stage, the hero feels the fear of the unknown and tries to turn away from the adventure, however briefly. Alternately, another character must express the uncertainty and danger ahead. Stage 4 of the hero's journey is the meeting with the mentor. The hero comes across a seasoned traveler of the world who gives, them, who gives him or her training, equipment, or advice that will help them on their journey. Or the hero reaches within to a source of courage and wisdom. Stage 5, Crossing the Threshold. At the end of Act 1, the hero commits to leaving the ordinary world and entering a new region or condition with unfamiliar rules and values. Stage 6, Tests, Allies, and Enemies. The hero is tested and sorts out allegiances in the special world. Stage 7, The Approach. The hero and new found allies prepare for the major challenge in the special world. Stage 8 is The Ordeal. Near the middle of the story, the hero enters a central space in the special world and confronts death or faces his or her greatest fear. Out of the moment of death comes a new life. Stage 9, The Reward. The hero takes possession of the treasure won by facing death. There may be celebration, but there is also danger of losing the treasure again. Stage 10, The Road Back. About three-fourths of the way through the story, the hero is driven to complete the adventure, leaving the special world to, to be sure the treasure is brought home. Often, a, a chase scene signals the urgency and danger of the mission. Stage 11 is The Resurrection. At the climax, the hero is severely tested once more on the threshold of home. He or she is purified by a last sacrifice, another moment of death and rebirth, but on a higher and more complete level. By the hero's action, the polarities that were in conflict at the beginning are finally resolved. Stage 12, Return with the Elixir. The hero returns home or continues the journey, bearing some element of the treasure that has the power to transform the world as the hero has been transformed. The following slides are important terms associated with the hero's journey. Hero. A man of distinguished courage or ability admired for his brave deeds and noble qualities. Epic poem. A long narrative poem telling of a hero's deeds. Myth. A traditional or legendary story, usually concerning some being a hero or a hero or event, with or without a determinable basis of fact or a natural explanation especially one that is concerned with deities or demigods and explains some practice, rite, or phenomenon of nature. The following are examples of figurative language. Hyperbole is a deliberate overstatement, extravagant exaggeration. An example of hyper hyperbole is mile-high ice cream cones. And you can see an example on the following YouTube link. Metaphor a figure of speech in which a term or phrase is applied to something to which it is not literally applicable in order to suggest a resemblance. An example, a mighty fortress is our God. See the following YouTube link for examples. Simile, a comparison of unlike things using the words like or as. An example, she is like a rose. And lastly, personification. The attribution of personal nature or character to inanimate objects or abstract